So, hopefully you can hear me all right. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I just, uh, just woke up. I'm not really seeing uh, any light in this image. Camera is not that good. Doesn't have a light source. It's like uh, I don't know, 6 p.m. Somewhere around there. Ideas, ideas for videos always seem better before I turn the camera on. And I forget. I don't know what I'm doing. Or how to feel about it. feel about something until you try it. You know, you can think about it, but without being it, without being a part of it, you really don't know what it will be like. Isn't that awesome? At least the camera gets that. So, lots and lots of ideas, don't, don't lose the ideas, that's why I switched the camera on to begin with. Okay, start from the beginning, woke up, maybe 4.30 p.m., uh, had a couple ideas, briefly before then having the idea to turn the camera on, you know, to grab this and uh, just turn it on while I was laying there on the couch, to sleep on a couch at the moment. Um, you know, going through the routine and everything. And then I thought, while while I'm recording, I can touch on some of the issues that I thought about the night before, and, and the kind of issues that I usually wake up thinking about as I wake up, which are pertaining to the day before, generally, unless I have a really strange, you know, dream that makes me think of something else, but usually it's it's the day before, um, which would be yesterday, today, <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, I was going to go through all the, you know, just walk around the apartment, and just talk about myself, but, it seems a little dull, but. We, we are sort of issues unto ourselves, I suppose, and our lives are issues as well, just a little less significant to others, unless there are people who really care about us, and lot, but your average person happens to want a random video, probably not, not too concerned about the person themselves, and, uh, I probably have 
with you know some issues that they're thinking about and you know, that's what tags are for that's what titles are for um, you know even users channels you get to know you know on YouTube you get to know the person and you get to know what they're interested in for me that's mostly atheism, activism, and uh, science type videos, astronomy, aeronautics, just anything, anything really, and I love when those three things kind of mingle together, especially nowadays, within the last 10, 15 years years of videos, 15 to 20 years of books, you know, credit to good old Dawkins for coming out and setting a good example, I don't, I don't even care what, what little things he does that upset people, it's, the, it's that action, that, that bold move made a big difference for us, so we should all be mindful of that, man it's so dark, I don't even know what the point is, the camera won't be able to see, the kind of thing that I like to see, uh, anyway, so, yeah, just, where to pick up, huh? back to the ideas, what I do the night before, in particular, last night, or actually let me, let me go ahead a little bit, and this is the part where I wake up in the morning, every time I wake up, or not every time, but most of the time, when I wake up, I, uh, you know, I have, I have good thoughts, interesting thoughts, thoughts I feel are important, thoughts about the things that I was working on or thinking about the night before, and, sorry, I'm distracted by the cameras, um, let's, let's keep walking. You can't see it right now, but this is, <laughs> this is, uh, Lake Huron. <laughs> Beautiful, isn't it? Can't even get the water, really. I mean, you can see the reflection of the lights off the water. Very, very calm right now. Oh gosh, look at that, so calm, I just stepped right into the water. That's amazingly calm. This is, these are the kind of waves, you can get a water like this. Water like this. I can see the ripples. I take my glove off so I can. calm, yeah, pretty calm, and uh, in the summertime, it's rare, but on occasion, you get calm evenings like this, on days uh, even rare, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's really nice to swim on, it's like a giant pool. Got a lot of kids, you know, bodies moving around like waves. <laughs> I don't like kids, but anyway. So very normal that I wake.
wake up thinking about the things that I was working on the night before. And generally, you know, the best parts of those things uh, are some of the more important ones or Last night, this morning, I uh, was working on a lot of things. So I could start. Some people didn't know the name. And, uh, maybe didn't remember enough about it to do a Google search, but uh, anyway, it was about tribes in Africa. So I did a little bit of research on you know, the music. Tribes. Africa has always been a particularly interesting continent to me, obviously because that's where we're from, that's where we, we belong, but we've spread out, you know, over the last 100, 200,000 years. Now we're all over the freaking globe. Buildings all over the place. They're not really giant. They won't be giant. They will be bigger, much bigger in the future, no doubt. There. Uh, but for now, they're they're a good size for us. Maybe comparative size. Each of us has our own. Cave, um, a little clearing in the woods, sort of. No, maybe not each of us, but a lot of us. So, uh, about Africa. One thing, you know, I did research in all these. Uh, tribes did some uh, video searches. YouTube being the uh, uh, attention deficit feeder that they are recommended. I guess I think that's, that's what happened. They recommended a video for like space stuff. Um, satellite photos. of the earth and so I started watching that and I liked it which I think I searched I can't remember the order exactly that things happened but so I was looking into uh, two different subjects kind of simultaneously um, as a result of these uh, satellite images and bringing water to the Sahara and, uh, and the satellite images led me to um, a volcano that erupted in Cape Verde 
off the coast of uh, you know, uh, Martinia and uh, Western Sahara. Looking at the Sahara, I've often thought um, what use that land could be. I mean, it's a huge chunk of land, you know, about the size of China or the United States, and uh, could be put to a lot better use. And uh, so I kind of just did a search, you know, being the person that I am, I don't want to have to explain myself, but I, just, I like to think really big sometimes, much bigger than me, or potentially much bigger than the human race, to be honest. Uh, there's some projects that I just don't, I don't see the human race getting together, working towards, um, in the immediate future, and one of those things I don't really see, the human race working together to accomplish is, um, you know, basically turning the Sahara into, you know, be it fertile grassland or a forest something something more useful to nature to life now that's not to say that it won't happen either because the earth will wobble a little or because the amount of humidity in the air will increase so much so that you know water will pass over, hurricanes, air currents, they will pass over um, the Sahara more often and deliver more moisture and nutrients and you know, life will take root once again. But one, one, of, one of the things in particular about this. I mean, I looked looked into the NASA um, traffic, so distracting. Oh. I looked into this uh, discovery that NASA made, or apparently NASA made. I don't think it's all them, but that uh, that their lakes lakes in the Sahara and not just little lakes big lakes lakes comparable in size to Lake Huron Lake Michigan, I mean, reasonably sized bodies of water that would deliver, you know, life to the area. So, so it kind of got me thinking that. For one, it wouldn't be too hard to make it real, make it actually happen. I mean, we could sit around and wait, um, or just think more about it, see if, uh, 
things actually work out. Uh, or we can kind of um, help it along. live video. You know, I don't edit videos, I prefer it to be live, but I can't I can't keep one track. My brain wants to pull you in like two different directions at the same time. On the one hand I want to talk about you know global warming, increased CO2 you know, increase water vapor, and on the other hand, I want to inspire um, inspire people to kind of take control of the planet, um, more control. You know, there's so many different camps on this matter and uh, I'm at 22 minutes so I'm going to stop this video and start a new one because I know it's shut down on its own soon enough <laughs>